Okay, so uh, today I'm super excited because we got yet another weird one for you. Why don't we see if we can brew coffee in the air? So here's what we got. This thing right here is called a Chemex. Now originally we were thinking maybe we'd make a coffee maker fly, but it was just like too heavy and too complicated. You know as we like to keep things simple. So what this thing is, this is like a coffee purist's coffee maker and it's super simple. Basically you put a filter up here, you load your coffee into the top, and then you hand pour very hot water over the coffee causing it to go through and brew the coffee and then you pour it in your cup. It's super simple. So we thought how cool would it be to put this on a plane, make some kind of water reservoir, put it on the plane upside down, take off, go up into the sky, flip over causing the water to go through, brewing the coffee in midair. So as soon as we came up with this idea, my good buddy Josh had a ton of ideas for the airplane design that he wanted to do to accomplish it. So he's been cutting that out on the laser and getting things pieced together. Let's go check it out, see how it's coming. <laughs> okay. okay, so here is, I'm, I'm sitting here filming Josh. Get, we're gonna make coffee in the sky, right? Which sounds like a pretty daunting task. And so in my mind, I have like a, re like I saw his drawing, but his drawing in my mind was much, much bigger than what we have right here. This little piece of paper that he's working, this piece of foam that he's working with is about this big and it's going to be carrying an entire pot of coffee and it's gonna to need to be able to do aerobatics. Josh has this tendency to, we, we, we make all these kind of crazy planes. He always likes to make it basically as small as you possibly can while still being able to maybe carry out the task. So a couple that come to mind that are extreme examples of this is the mailbox plane. Oh, oh get him off the ground! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> yes! There was the toilet plane. One. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> he just likes cartoon planes. I mean, at the end of the day, he's just a short coupled cartoon airplane kind of guy. Well, here's what I feel like. This is our character. This is our passenger, man. And you wouldn't put a, you wouldn't put like a, a peanut in a five gallon bucket. <laughs> you know? You would, you would you would proportionally build it for your passenger, and this just seems like a perfect. Okay, I won't lie, it does. I seem think small. it's small, but hey, he's he's the expert here. He has a lot more building experience than I do, so we're gonna go. And plus, he said if it ends up being too small, he's gonna build a whole nother big one. So here's the deal. I got building, and sometime around the evening when we started taking a look at the overall size of this and the way it was going to be clear, I just didn't have any peace about it. My friend Alex was absolutely right, and I ended up taking this project home, working on it a little bit more, decided let's go ahead and scrap it. We're going to go ahead and go a new route here. This is my old design. I'm going to show you what we're going to build now. So this is a really cool thing about designing. At any point you see that you're kind of going down a road that you don't want to be on, you can always choose to go on a different road, make some changes, and ultimately get the success that you need. One thing that's really easy is to be discouraged whenever you realize that maybe something's not working out the way you want to, don't worry about it. Take a couple steps back, go a different direction. So here's our original design. You can see we had a biplane, two wings. I was really hung up on the two wings, but there's a couple key flaws here beyond the weight that I want to point out. Typically when you have a wingspan, you don't want the space of the wings to be closer than the actual core of the wing. That causes some weird things aerodynamically. So if these wings were only half as thick, but it was still simply too small to fly. So instead of doing this, I'm going to stay with the big wing concept. I'm going to use my friend Alex's advice. I'm going to blow the sucker up to about 70 inch wingspan. Still We'll go with our two motor pods but in this case I'm gonna go with a symmetrical airfoil right down the middle I'm gonna keep my tail the same I'm gonna stretch the whole entire airplane out to give myself a little bit more moment also a little bit more ease and center of gravity and then still keep with the original idea of mounting the lin gear on the top and the bottom of the fuselage this time instead of the wings I think it's gonna look awesome it's gonna look like the edge 540 with a uh, with a caffeine addiction. This is wings I modified off of the original FT3D. I just changed some stuff to be more like Andrus Liu's uh, Edge 540 wings. So I supersized those, stretched those out. I got big old punk and ailerons. It's squatty and, and tubby, just like my favorite cartoon planes. We always wanted an airplane that could fly, like we could take off one way and land the other way, but we never got around to it. This is the perfect opportunity to like do that challenge, but also to have it do a function too. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the power system on it. We're gonna establish the center of gravity right where typical center of gravity is about 25, 30% back. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the weight of the Chemex plus the water, and we're gonna kind of hang that weight off the front, find out where our CG is. So it could be all the way here, or it could be all the way over here, but we'll build the hose to meet that. Uh, so we have center of gravity. This is really boxy and ugly looking, but it's gonna be a functional plane. 
will have a legacy landing gear on the top and legacy landing gear on the bottom. So I wanted the whole fuselage to be as symmetrical as possible. The wheels on the back are actually gonna be wider than the wheels in the front too, which is gonna be kind of funny. It's gonna be like a, like a tractor, like four wheels on the ground. That's right, you heard it correctly. There's gonna be a landing gear on the top and the bottom. It's not a new idea. They've been doing this for a long time. Actually, a lot of air show stunt pilots would fly like, what would they fly, like a Pitts? Yeah, pit. Like a Pitts biplane. And they'd either, they take off and do an aerobatic performance and they come in and do touch and goes and land literally upside down. So that's kind of where the idea came from. We're doing a single wing design, which I, I'm feeling pretty good about. Once those ailerons get on there, I think that's gonna be a substantial enough wing to lift the coffee. Let's just put it this way, I'm feeling better about it. But that's how it always goes. As the plane and the project continue to develop, uh, you continue to problem solve and things start to get a little bit more comfortable until you go out to fly it. So we're gonna get back to work building. So we still have a lot to do. We gotta program the radio and we gotta test fly this thing. But before we do that, we need to simulate the weight of the coffee being brewed on board. So what we have here is our Chemex. This thing is high quality. It's made out of glass. It's got this nice uh, bamboo or whatever kind of wood that is on it. And it's pretty hefty. It's about uh, a, a pound or so and some change. And so what we've done here is I have got this bottle of smart water. I drank specifically the amount to make it weigh the exact same as this Chemex empty. So this is our dummy Chemex to simulate the weight. And then this is the amount of uh, water that we're going to be brewing. So this is gonna be the water reservoir. Picture, this is how it's gonna be. We're, need, we're gonna need to figure out where it's gonna balance on the plane, what we're working on right here. And then we're gonna do a flight with the water up on the top where it's gonna start out. Or actually, I guess technically, it's gonna start like this, right? So the water's gonna be in the reservoir. Chemex is upside down when it takes off. You, you go inverted with the whole plane. The glug, 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 glug. And then it brews the coffee in the midair. That's the idea. But we don't want, this is our only Chemex. And so we wanna do proof of concept before that. What we have here, basically a nose extension that we're going to be putting out here. And it's gonna give us a little bit more flexibility because the position of these out on the nose is going to be determined by where the plane balances. You gotta find that center of gravity that I was talking about earlier. Right now, as you can see, the plane should balance there, but it's tail heavy right now. Hopefully when I get that nose on there and put the water on there, it'll balance right on that center of gravity point. But beyond that, it's coming along nice. Josh is programming the radio. We're gonna go out and fly here soon. It's ready to fly. So we're gonna be trying out some prototype, what are these, I think these are HQ, right? HQ yeah, three blades. HQ. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna try some prototype HQ three blades on the CPAC, and then we're gonna fly it with a 3300 Lumineer four cell. My biggest concern right now is it looks identical. Like, <laughs> I, just, I really hope that it flies good upside down with a little bit of forward pressure so we don't like mix things up. But landing gear on top, landing gear on the bottom. Jeremy came in and put some awesome flarings in here to kind of give it a cool geodesic look. And uh, we're gonna get to play with this. It's not gonna look like any real plane that you normally see. If it flies good this way, we're gonna leave it. We're gonna paint it up. This is proof of concept. We gonna fly it? Let's fly it. All right, so before we head outside to give this thing a go, I wanted to take this time to thank our sponsor for this video, and that is our friends over at Henry's House of Coffee. And they're the ones that made this video possible. The coolest thing about Henry's House of Coffee is we've actually partnered with them to give away one of you guys one year's worth of free coffee. And now the way that this is gonna work is all you have to do is you have to be a subscriber, you have to comment on the video, and you have to like the video, and then at a later date, we're going to randomly pick one lucky person in the US to give away a year's worth of free coffee, which is insane. We were super excited to work with Henry's House of Coffee on this crazy project because not only do they make amazing coffee, but they're also fellow flight testers. Henry's House of Coffee has three generations of roasting heritage. In fact, they've been brewing coffee in the San Francisco area since 1965. Their expertise are in darker roasts that have a smooth finish and are never bitter. Best part about all this is you can get free shipping in the US on all orders over $30 or more. And you can also get 20% off your order by using the code flight test. Now that does exclude monthly subscriptions. So again, subscribe to this channel, like the video and leave a comment. And if you live in the United States, you have a chance to win one year's worth of coffee thanks to Henry's House of Coffee. We'll put a link down in the description. And again, thanks to Henry's House of Coffee for making this video possible. It's literally because of sponsors like Henry's that Flight Test is able to do what we do. So make sure you check out that link. And uh, we got a plane to fly. Let's go outside, come on. My concern points is I should have put the landing gear farther forward than I anticipated. So I'm afraid when I go to land inverted, it's going to like nose over super easy. So I'll have to move all the mounting points. 
But flying wise, I mean, the short couple nature, um, a little worried about blanking out, but I don't think it will as easy because of the prop thrust going over it. So, and there's a small detail about wind. But. My main concern point is the wind right now. The last time I checked, 14 mile an hour gusting to about 25. So that's windy for a real airplane, let alone a coffee plane. I kind of agree with Josh a little bit because like quite a bit of like weight on the landing gear and I have a feeling when he lands it's gonna do this. It's gonna come in, it's gonna hit the ground and it's gonna go whoop. Yeah. It's just gonna nose over and just all that coffee is gonna go down to the ground. But that's my only really concern. It looks yeah. like a great airplane otherwise. My concern point is still the wind. It's still about 25 yeah. mile an hour. I have no concerns because Josh is flying it. If I was flying it, my concern would be keeping orientation because right side up looks like upside down, looks like left, <laughs> looks right. It, it looks all the same. Have I mentioned that it's really windy? <laughs> it's like 50 mile an hour gusting 25. Like the birds are even getting blown away. Yeah. That's my concern. We're gonna try to fly it around. Yeah, we'll if it flies okay, <laughs> we'll roll it upside down, and then we'll just try to to bring her in. <laughs> I love it because there's a hawk over there, and it's going. Ah! <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah, man. All right, good luck, Jay Biggs. Oh, then I'm gonna take it off that way. All right. All right it's, it's so proud of you. Good luck, man. Thanks. Here we go. She wants the win. Oh jeez, oh jeez, whoa, there it is! Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> the She's legit! It is windy! Dang, right. look at how windy it is, it's look going backwards. Alright, let's try the inverted characteristics. <laughs> how much backwards? It's, it's fine, just a little bit of time. She's flying on power. So we'd be brewing coffee right there, we'd and then boom. Coffee. So you're gonna have to land it inverted. Are you gonna practice that? Yeah, I wanna, I wanna practice. Hey, no, I'll get the golf cart out of there for a second for me, bud. Yeah. Yeah. I don't wanna get out of there. I'm, I'm gonna right. sit right here. Yeah, inverted. All right, coming in inverted for a landing. Coffee is brewed. It's nice and hot at this point. Gotta come in before it cools off. 20 mile an hour wind. A little bit of sink there. Whoa! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even know it's over. Yes, yes, dude. Nice, dude. We got a coffee making airplane. Next step is we got to take this thing in and get it to its final form, polish it up, get some paint on it, yep. and also add the coffee brewing equipment. Yeah. We're gonna head back in the shop and get back to work. Let's go. It is time to paint, so I grabbed a couple other colors that we had just laying around the shop. We got some muted red and some muted green, kind of an orangish red. And so my thought here is when some people get up in the morning before they have their coffee, they're a little angry. So one side of the plane is gonna be this muted red. And then after their coffee is brewed and the plane flips over, they're gonna be green, which is also the color of unroasted coffee beans. So I don't know. I'm, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta make something up to make the colors that you have in the shop work, right? Now one other thing that you can do to kind of take your paint jobs to the next level is by using some basic vinyl graphics. Now we use a vinyl cutter which you can actually get for just a couple hundred bucks but even if you don't have one you can still use vinyl and cut it out by hand and add basic elements like pinstripes and side spears to really kind of bring that paint job to the next level. So when it comes to the water reservoir we kicked around a lot of different ideas but we decided to go with a simplistic approach rather than using bottles and tubes and pumps and that kind of stuff, we figured what we would do is hopefully rely on gravity and hopefully a little bit of pilot skill to do the work for us. So what we have here is a basic Tupperware container that we've drilled a couple holes in and the idea is that it's going to store the water upside down and then when we fly the airplane inverted, the water will trickle down brewing the coffee. So it's looking like Jeremy is just wrapping up, retrofitting the Chemex to the front of the coffee plane. There's only one thing left to do. We're gonna head outside and hope for the best. Um, as far as the coffee plane is concerned, uh, first of all, it looks amazing. Secondly, the only worry that I have is that like it's literally got a glass nose. So like if you, you get anything, it's cracked out, crackola. No thanks for playing, dude. So 
Uh, but I'm excited about it because that's like a little it's a suspense, you know what I'm saying? I do like coffee. I drink it every day. And I am mostly concerned about my personal cup of coffee and the experience that this plane is going to yield me. My coffee needs to be a specific temperature. Typically, I pour my cup and then I have to wait 45 minutes so it's not hot, but it's not cold. And there's only a window of about five to 10 minutes that you have to drink the whole cup. So my hope is that the wind from the airplane is going to cool the coffee to my perfect temperature. We'll see how it goes. I just, uh, I want a cup of coffee as well. I wish we could have taped one to my quad and I could have tried to transfer midair, but I think it's gonna fly great. If it brews and does well today, I'm gonna drink it because I heard it's amazing, so. There you go. So that's a video in itself. What happens when Stefan drinks coffee? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, Josh, you're the PIC pilot in command. Yeah, and I like coffee. I'm really excited. It was easier than I thought to land it upside down with all the weight up in the front. I'm not too worried about center of gravity. I am worried about what's gonna happen with the G's and this little Tupperware container possibly jettisoning out because one G basically makes this little water twice as heavy and we've been shaking it, you've been shaking it. I think if I do the wrong thing, we're gonna see all the water go bloop out the back. And other than that, I'm just excited to caffeinate up. Are you more excited about the flight or the coffee? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So as you can see, the plane has come together nicely. We're getting it loaded up with the coffee filter and the coffee beans. For this first flight, we're going with Henry's Original Blend, medium body, toasted nuts, and balanced. It should be the perfect first flight of coffee coming down the pipe. But before we fly this, I wanted to ask you guys to consider subscribing. We noticed that a lot of you guys watching our videos aren't actually subscribed. And by hitting that free subscription button, you're actually helping us out a ton and allowing us to do these crazy projects and make these videos for you guys to watch. So hit that subscription button and let's go, uh, let's go get this battery plugged in and take to the sky. All right, Jay Biggs and the Sticks. Good luck, he buddy. It. He wants it. He wants it. Get help in the air. Oh. Eagle of attack just isn't happening. Oh, man. Sorry. The tail is so big. We could cut that tail. Basically what's happening is the plane is stuck in that position and it can't rotate because the tail is so big. To lift up into the air, it needs to pivot up like that and the geometry of that tail section is just preventing that from happening. So uh, we're gonna need to uh, assess the situation. Either slice and dice or find somewhere else. All right, what do you got so this going on This is my on fault. Here? Last time we tried this, we didn't have wheels on it and it barely had enough rotational angle to get in the air. I'm going to fix that. <laughs> All right, let's drop that down. Yes, much better. So now it's got more of a nose up attitude. Should do the trick, hopefully. We only got a little bit of time. The water still looks like it's hot. All right, you guys ready? Yes, dude. All right, man. Here but we go. It's, it's, it's nice. All right, here we go. All right, that's when it's coming straight down the road. Straight down the pipe. Woo! Let's go get in the air! Yes! yes! It! Yes! Oh, it's up. <laughs> It's she up. Is up. Oh, no problem. How does she feel now? She She's a little wonky, but not bad. <laughs> she's screaming. All right. Those power pack C motors are oh, screaming. Oh, we got inverted. Oh, yes. yes. Ruin. Yes. All right, how's she look? I'm looking. <laughs> so excited. Keep her right steady. Here. Keep her steady. He's like, it's hard. I, don't, I can't see anything yet, but it's going to take a little bit of time to go through that filter, I'd imagine. Why didn't I take it off inverted and fly normal? Oh, <laughs> uh, you have to hold it. Got, he's got to hold it inverted for like an hour. I was pitching 30 seconds. <laughs> nope, we got a couple minutes here. Are you seeing anything? It's hard to tell on my little screen here. <laughs> he's looking at I think, I think it's thing. like a cup into it and he's just messing with me. You're doing well, great, Jay Biggs. It's a, it's a great, wonderful mashup, so it's it's not hard to fly, but it is just menacing. <laughs> to, Dude, you look sweet in the air too. Low flyby and, and windy weather. Inverted, no less, right? <laughs> With glass it's on your nose with, of the airplane. Uh, this go. is getting intense. Enjoy. Look at the coffee. Do you see it? Oh, there is coffee. There's, there's coffee. I oh, see it. I see some coffee. I, it's see, dark. I see brown stuff. Yes. It's dark. It right, is well, dark. I'm sorry. That's just my bad. Bad <laughs> eyes, bad little. Ah, yes. Between you and me, I think Alex ah. knows how to antagonize and Let's push go. it to the limits. I think he knew there was coffee in there. I'm happy and sad at the same time because that means I got to drink some coffee. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we have enough to do a little bit of a. Oh, oh man, the coffee wants it. <laughs> it looks definitely t uh, nose heavy for sure. Sick plane. How does it feel to do all your aerobatics and I have to go like back it. to inverted? Dude, I keep on trying to remember which side is the side I'm supposed to fly. Yeah, I don't envy you right now having to do that. I wonder if I could do a an outside 
Oh, there you go. That there was cool. Is. The only yeah. way I remember how up is down and down is up is because you cut the red bits of foam off. Oh, oh yeah. Regular. Thank you. Now I have something to remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how are we looking there? Oh, there we go. It's pretty good. Why don't you bring it for a low pass? All right. Low inverted pass, I should say. Everything that we tell him to do, he's doing it inverted. <laughs> Everything. Like a champ. Inverted. Yes, bring it on home, baby! Woo -hoo. We see the coffee. See the coffee. coffee. Keep brewing, though. <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> Does it have uh, enough power to go vertical? Kinda. <laughs> Look, it's like... Can you hover it? Let's see, ready? This will test our motors. Oh, it's hovering! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. That oh, coffee's shit. sloshing around in there. Floating coffee right now. Oh my god. The hardest thing I have to remember is the rudder. Because rudder, rudder is backwards. Aileron is yeah. normal. Rudder is backwards, but if you look at the tail and you push the tail around, that helps you. So you're All like right. a champ, dude. You know what? I'm gonna do the zero degree roll barrel roll. There we go. Sick. Nice. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> I can't wait to see if that GoPro footage, if I can keep it on the bottom during those maneuvers. All right. All right, Shad, what do you think? I, I'm, we're, I'm ready when you I'm are. Ready. Yeah, we're ready. Right. I got faith right. in you, Jay We're ready for you. Where are you, you're landing? I'm, it's gonna be beyond us, I bet you. I don't think I'm gonna put it down on our feet, so. No, don't put it down on the runway. Put it down the grass or wherever you're comfortable. Rudder yeah. upside down. Oh, oh. Ooh, Josh. Jay picks on his sticks. Keep her steady, buddy. Keep her steady. Go save it! Go save it! Go save the coffee! <laughs> All right, let's, let's go check it out! All right. Oh, it's still brewing! It's still brewing! Look oh at this gosh. guy! Look at oh, that guy! I, I was impatient, guys. I'm sorry. Do you know? Well, there's proof. There's proof that you can waste a lot of time to make one cup of coffee. Because <laughs> uh, everyone's going to get a sip. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, Josh. When you came over the power lines yeah. and did that little weird wongle. Yeah, there's some crazy. I thought it was over. I, some, I thought it was over, there's dude. There's some rotisserie going on there. Oh, it's done. You have enough to put it back it up? It's done. <laughs> oh, is it? That's all you had. One more lap, man. Uh, That's all you had, though. It's still warm. We don't even need to take the Chemex out. We made this to pour. Here it comes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Keep it coming, JB. Look at that amber color. Look at that. Keep coming. Every last drop. <laughs> all right. Josh, uh, Josh, Josh, Josh did all the work. He's the barista. Josh, what's really important every time you sample coffee? Pinky's out. <laughs> That's a fine cup of joe. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try it. I want to try it. Try it. I'm, not, I'm not kidding you. It is good. It's not as hot as I'd like it to be. Ooh, strong. It's smooth. It's actually strong. <laughs> All right. Give that a shot. Right. Moment of truth. I'm going to do it. Beans in there, so it makes sense. Tastes more like espresso. Dude, I got to try it. Actually, that's smooth though. Yeah. For as strong as it is, that's smooth. Pass it this way because when are you going to be able to try airplane coffee ever again? <laughs> Let's brew another cup. Very strong. I'm like a little hyper now. <laughs> Special shout out to Henry's House of Coffee, not only for making amazing coffee, but also they're sponsoring this video. They're helping us do what we do, making these videos for you guys. Yeah, we've been doing tons of crazy stuff from the very beginning. We've been flying turkeys. We've been making fruit smoothies. We even popped some popcorn in the mirror. Make sure you check out if you want to see those videos right here. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. Hitting that button is free and it literally is the reason we're able to do what we do. Thank you to all of our subscribers. And until the next time. one, we'll see you.